to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Oh, you want me to do? Towards Mothway. Let's get a picture of our leaves. Our grocery leaves. What? How do you do this again? <laughs> well, you gotta get real close to your face at first. Like yeah. this? Mm hmm. And you talk really loud. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> but then you have to put your finger like around here, cover yeah. up the microphone. <laughs> I'm that much of a dad that even if I use a camera, my thumb's over <laughs> the front. <laughs> What's up, guys? We are heading to the store. I got back from Vegas uh, on a business trip. It took two weeks um, when it should have your, only taken one. Your trip? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was two weeks. It was. I've been gone for two weeks almost. Yeah. And so I just got back. We we just got back to the house, all of us. Uh, Blair's been with her parents. And so we're sort of getting back into things. I went to Vegas, and apparently it froze here mm -hmm. in Texas. Mm -hmm. So I just missed all of that. So that's a horrible thing. If you didn't see our little short video, basically it's like uh, TikTok videos on YouTube now. It's just a little bit of me and Eva walking out in the uh, snow. Oh my gosh, it's so nice out here now. It was literally freezing yesterday, and now I'm in shorts and a tank top, and it's beautiful. Like ice everywhere. Like this is, this is Texas. I mean, there was, there was still some ice left over this morning, but the biggest, ugh, the biggest thing was we were worried it was gonna be a, uh, a redo of 2021, of last year's winter. No, I wouldn't when have that. Texas, I said we, like me and Eva. Yeah. When no. <laughs> Texas froze over for a week, we lost power. Most people, like a ton of people lost power and water. And so the news was saying, you know, this is not gonna be a repeat of 2021, but they kept talking about severe freezes. So of course I'm thinking like, is the power go out? Is the water gonna go out? Everyone freaked out. Um, All the canned goods were gone, the meats were gone. Oh man. And so we're actually heading back now to get food and I'm hoping they've restocked everything yeah. now that everyone realized it wasn't people, too bad. <laughs> people did panic a little bit, which yeah. we we didn't panic by because I knew we would we would be okay. And you already had food too. But I think a lot of people were still um, obviously like a little bit of PTSD from last year. I mean, they did. A lot of flights were canceled. It ruined a lot of stuff, you know. And it, it hurt some trees, but it was nothing. It was just like a normal year. Yeah, yeah. So it was. It ended up being a. I mean, it was a decent freeze. It got down into the teens, which is not. You know, it doesn't happen very often here. Um, we got a little bit of snow, a lot of ice, and anytime that happens, this area shuts down because we don't have the infrastructure. Um, yeah to handle that safely, as in the roads. So we stayed home, we lost power for like two hours one night, but then it was back on, and that was it. Didn't lose water, and so we were comfortable. We enjoyed it, but he was in Vegas the whole time. Yeah, I had to wear a jacket for 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, the lighting is better. We're gonna go into the grocery store, uh, but I don't wanna take the camera in, because it looks busy. Yeah, it's pretty busy. We're just gonna try to get through it, and we've got a big list. So, we'll check back in at home. I see you in the corner. <laughs> we'll check back in at home. Um, Matt can talk about his uh, trip to Vegas and, yep. and goals and life and all that stuff. Coming soon. Like, like pretty much now. Once the vlog comes out. For you. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and That's it the, never came. That's the end. Is it recording? Yes. <laughs> Went to Vegas for two weeks, just there for work. So it's a lot of talking to people, doing things kind of out of the ordinary, obviously. Uh, I tried to get some workouts in, but really ultimately what happened was ate a lot of things. And uh, going into it, I wasn't even like, I was starting to pick up uh, how much I was working out, but I got a bike, like a you know pretty decent bike. I'll, I'll show my bike in a minute. 
you're fine. I'll show my bike. So, Bye. Um, I broke something. I got it. All right. <laughs> so I got a bike. It's a mountain bike, $800, which doesn't get you, I guess, a whole lot, but I mean, it's nice for me. It's a hard tail. So look at that. And it's black. I mean, I like that. So it's nice. Uh, I have no helmet, so I will not ride it on any surface that is not easy. And I won't go too fast. E that's kind of a lie. But um, starting to get more workouts in, kind of geared more towards that and climbing. So it's a uh, higher intensity, uh, more so for the heart and lungs kind of workouts. Because I don't ever do those really. I just do a lot of uh, lifting, which is good too. It's great for you. Yeah, but it doesn't get like heart rate up like I want it to. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't help you with just lung lift expansion. weights faster. Uh, yeah, lighter and faster, which is not helping me with the training for the bike stuff. I mean, I'll do it too, but either way, starting to eat better, that'll lower weight. It'll also, of course, take off the weight that I'm having to struggle against, um, which help me, would help me with just uh, generally training. No, no, you're moving me around a lot. Well, yeah, because you're going like yeah. this to be in the frame. I know, I'm tall. For, yeah, you're real for tall. some, I'm five, five nine. Tall, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm too tall for this camera. And so, yeah, we got more vegetables. Uh, I'm doing more chicken. Um, let's make sure you get this open. Uh, yeah, more greens, uh, getting more protein in. Uh, we're gonna start probably a form of 75 hard. We've done that before on this modified. channel. Modified. It's very it's modified. Not, so I don't even wanna so call it 75 right. hard. It's not. It's just, it's a, okay, it's inspired by. It's inspired, yeah, sure. 75 hard in the aspect of we're gonna have daily tasks and have accountability, but not the, not to the full extent yeah. that 75 hard is. We're just doing it for a period of time, and there are gonna be days where we probably lose. I mean, not severely, right? I mean, just, there's gonna be days. And so we are allowing for some of those. We may like cap it out or something along those lines. Again, not 75 hard, it's our own thing, just to get us back in a routine, pretty much. So. You. I don't know. I've Look. been I've been crushing it. I don't know about you. I've been crushing something. I've been, I've been working my booty. <laughs> the off. couch. I crushed the crushed the couch <laughs> when I sat on it. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> crushing it. Um, I didn't realize I was so doing this. <laughs> I guess this is this is more for more more for him. I'm just gonna continue doing what I have been doing, which is I get it. I'm hefty. consistency with my workouts, with my nutrition, and some of the main things. Um, because I know that it can be overwhelming whenever you're starting into a health and fitness journey. Um, some of the main questions that I get are, where do I start? Like if you're coming from not having done anything for a long time, not staying consistent like this guy. I mean, the the main components are just like start somewhere. You don't have to go from doing nothing to working out seven days a week and cutting all of your carbs and drinking gallon of water and doing like all of these things. Focus on one step at a time and keep it simple until you can master those tasks and then improve upon those. So starting typically with <clears throat> drinking enough water, eating enough protein and moving your body. Those are like the three basics that I will work with with clients um, and things that we always come back to. And so just starting with those three simple things and that might be something I recommend for him if he'll listen to me. Um, just keep it super simple. It doesn't, because essentially what you wanna do is make this a long-term thing. Super low carb, like really, really intense workouts, tons and tons of cardio. Typically those are not sustainable six, 12, 18 months from now. So find something that you can do and you can be able to stick with consistently with wiggle room uh, for the long term. No binging, just jump right back on, plan, there you go. right? <laughs> yeah, if you mess up, just get back on it. I know all the ideas, That's it's it. just, you know. It's, it's simple in theory, but we were actually just talking to a friend at the grocery store about this. Like the long term consistency is the hardest part. You know, because he's like, oh, it's easy working out and, and eating healthy or eating enough protein. Like it's easy, but it's like, yeah, you could do it for a day or a week or whatever, but it's the long term, doing it long term, that makes it difficult. It's like getting me to focus on doing a video. It's like I started out sort of strong. By strong, I mean it's pretty weak. And then I just walk around for a while. 
<sighs> and then forget I'm talking about stuff. This is my life. Where do you want these potatoes? <laughs> well, he was gone. Um, Eva and I hung out together. Uh, we went to my parents' house in Austin and just had a blast. She, oh, she's so much fun. Like, she's just so, she's just like my little best friend. She, she's next door with Matt's mom uh, with his parents right now. But <laughs> she went to the store with us. <laughs> but she had just a blast hanging out with my parents. Um, always a new environment. They have a bunch of toys over there. So new toys are always fun. And then yesterday her cousins came over. So she got to play with all of her favorite people for the whole day. And it was just like a big party. And she was just screaming and running around and wanting to be chased and dancing and just the most happy, like sweet little thing in the entire world. Are you gonna go get it? So we had, we had a lot of fun. And it, of course it's nice to be over at my parents. And while it froze, it was nice to be over there. But we were, I, I don't know about Eva, but I was glad to come back because I wanna get back to our routine. I was glad to have him back. Really? <laughs> You're eating that over the sink like a rat. I'm behind the camera. Well yeah, so we have to get rid of all of our treats. For the next weeks. Yeah, and I'm not gonna eat them, so. Oh no, more for me. I have like a bunch of cookies back here too. Oh, good. Do you the video just coming me eating things? <laughs> yeah, we're trying a new genre. <laughs> okay, stop smacking. That, that's from me. Stop, <laughs> stop smacking. That's from me. <laughs> I looked on the channel and I didn't realize that the last video that we uploaded was two weeks ago. I feel like those two weeks, it's, you know, he's been gone, but I feel like those two weeks have gone by so fast. But it's just, that's just life now. It goes by so fast. And there are so many days where I'll start up the day and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna film a video today or we'll do a vlog or I'll do some kind of like, I'll get some footage at the gym. The day just gets away from me. And, um, but it's not, not like a bad way. I just don't think to pick up a camera whenever I'm like chasing Eva around or, you know, I'm having like a great workout and I don't think to hold a camera, so. All good things. Are you having another? Hmm? Yeah, I'm helping you out. <laughs> You're welcome. So it's the next day. Uh, Matt is at work since he got back from Vegas. He's got a ton of work to do because during these trade shows, he gets a ton of contact information, makes a ton of connections, a lot of networking. And now he has to sit with all the people at work and go through all of the contacts and the information do all of his follow-ups and all of that stuff. So he's gonna be working really, really hard for the next couple weeks. But we will, we will be going to Kalahari again soon, which has kind of become our little special like family place. Um, if you've ever grown up going to certain places, um, try, I know it's not like a big vacation. We didn't do a whole lot of vacations because I'm one of four kids and both of my parents worked and my dad was a softball coach for like 30 years. And so our trips were typically more so, like more or less softball trips, which I enjoyed the heck out of. But a lot of the places that we would go on a regular basis, like places that I looked forward to as a kid, like Chuck E. Cheese. There was this place in Austin called Celebration Station and it was kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese, but better and bigger. And it's not in business anymore, but it was awesome. So anyway, I guess Kalahari is kind of like our, or Schlitterbahn, uh, we went to Schlitterbahn a lot growing up. And so I guess Kalahari is gonna be like our little family place to go. So I told Matt, I was like, you've been working really hard. Um, he did win a little bit of money in Vegas. And I guess he can, in our next video, he can tell you all about his like, how he does it um, when he goes into Vegas. But we're gonna take what he won from Vegas and just have a little mini family vacation. So in a couple weeks, we'll be going back to Kalahari. Really excited about, and it's neat because every time we go, Eva experiences it differently. Because the first time we went, she was still pretty little. Next time we went, she was a little bit bigger, started going down more of the slides. Um, I think we've gone three times now. And the third time we went, that's whenever her cousins came. 
and it was a blast. So I think this time is gonna be just even more fun. So we're gonna be doing that soon, but I wanted to just close out the video and um, just kind of check in with, with you and see how everybody out there is doing. What have y'all been up to? Did anybody else get um, a big freeze if y'all are in the Texas, Central Texas area? Or I know that the whole storm was like going up Northeast. So did anybody in the Northeast um, get it? And what was that like? And I also wanted to check and see if y'all would be interested in seeing our footage from the aquarium in San Antonio. We went to the aquarium two weeks ago and before Matt left and it was it was awesome it was so much fun I got a lot of footage and it's just sitting in my camera so if you'd be interested let me know in the comments but I'm planning on having another vlog up this week probably Thursday or Friday um, trying to get back into just a routine now that we're back in town now that back, Matt's back in town town I'm gonna slow down when I talk but yeah I'll be I'll be doing some more fitness videos back again um, because being sick in December and then being gone. I mean, I've, I've still been doing everything, but I just haven't really been updating. Um, just, we've been busy. That's it. It's life. But coming back, always checking in with our wandering family and hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful week. And that's it. So I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And other than that, have fun out there. Bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.